This is the Powered Boom Compass Controlled Helicopter. It's Powered Boom because it has motors on the fly bar that drive the rotor using these propellers. And these are hiller paddles with movable control surfaces. See the servo moving it to do the cyclic control. But there's no cyclic reference to the fuselage. All the reference is from a three-axis magnetometer that senses north, south, east, west. And that's processed by this Arduino computer, and it controls the servos to give you cyclic control. So you fly relative to the compass, not relative to the fuselage. There's also a battery to power the motors, radio receiver, uh, and a DC to DC converter. And all of this spins with the main rotor. There's no connection to the fuselage. Inside the fuselage, there's another radio control system with a little gyro and a battery to control this tail rotor, which pushes the fuselage left and right, and the gyro keeps it uh, stable. Now I'll try to show the response of the rotor to fore and aft and left and right control. First, we get it spinning. Get the rotor leveled out here. So with forward, you can see the rotor disc tilt forward, back or aft, tilts aft, and then left, and then right. And then back to neutral. Now I'll demonstrate how the fuselage is stabilized by the tail rotor. And you can see here I can, I can make the, tip, the fuselage spin around, but if I release the stick, it stops. I spin it the other way, stop. So that's response to commands. Here's response to disturbances. It's a rate-based system, it's not attitude control. There's a sort of a spherical bearing here, but there's a little bit of friction. And so when the helicopter is flying, sometimes you'll see the fuselage shake or move a little because of the interaction between these two. But for the most part, this just hangs here. This helicopter is also unusual in that it's made almost entirely out of balsa wood. The rotor blades are just shaped from solid piece of balsa, so are the hiller paddles. Fuselage has kind of a framework and then these um, foam fairings just to make it look nice. This helicopter does not fly fast. It's mostly just used for flying in light wind and in hovering flight. And uh, a spruce spar for the hiller rotor or the fly bar and uh, some carbon tubes in the high stress areas. So there's no transmission, no clutch, no cyclic, no collective, no tail rotor drive. So all the mechanics you associate with a regular helicopter are absent here. There's very few moving parts. Just the motors themselves, the servos, and the bearing, everything teeters on. And in the case of the tail rotor, that moves also. Um, this helicopter can fly without the fuselage. You can just fly the rotor system alone because it's all reference to the compass. And it flies quite well. It's much smoother and it uses less power when you fly without the fuselage.